All right, everybody, welcome back. We're diving deep today, and we're going to be tackling all the rumors surrounding Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce. Yeah, buckle up, folks, because this one is a doozy. That's right. We've got a lot to unpack, and you know, we always bring you the most interesting sources, right? So get this. It's not some tabloid or a leak DM, no. This time, our intel is coming straight from Taylor Swift's dad. <laughs> Talk about an exclusive. I know, right? <laughs> we found this viral TikTok video, and... Uh, well, let's just say Scott Swift spilled the tea. He did not hold back. And we are here for it. So are you ready to break this thing down? Absolutely. Let's get into it. Okay. So picture this. You're on a Southwest Airlines flight just minding your own business when who do you see? Mm -hmm. None other than Scott Swift, Taylor Swift's father, just casual as can be. You know, I got to say that's not where I expected the story to start. Right. It's like something out of a movie. But hey, that's how these things happen. Sometimes the truth comes out when you least expect it. Exactly. And luckily for us, there was a Swifty on that flight, a passenger named Taylor Moore, and she managed to film part of Scott's conversation and posted it on TikTok. And the internet went wild. Naturally. But you know what's so fascinating to me? It's not just that he was talking about Taylor and Travis, it's what he was saying. Right. He wasn't just making small talk. He was gushing. Gushing. He apparently told Moore that out of all of Taylor's boyfriends in the last 12 years, Travis has made the biggest impact. I mean... Wow. Now that's a statement. Right. You don't just throw that out there casually, especially when you're Scott Swift notoriously private. Exactly. He chooses his words carefully, and that makes this even more intriguing. It seems like he really sees something special in Travis and in their relationship. Absolutely. And you know what else? He even compares Travis to some of Taylor's past boyfriends. Oh, yeah. That part definitely got people talking. And I get it. Every Swifty is out there dissecting lyrics and looking for clues. But maybe we should be paying more attention to Scott Swift's insights. Well, comparisons are natural, but I think what's more important here is the genuine approval that Scott is expressing. A father's blessing carries a lot of weight, especially for someone like Taylor, who clearly values family. A hundred percent. Yeah. And there's a, another layer to this whole story that just adds to the intrigue. Apparently, Scott Swift already knew the Kelsey family before Taylor and Travis even started dating. No, isn't that interesting? It is. He had met Travis's brother's father-in-law, like, way before any of this Taylor and Travis stuff happened. So there's this pre-existing connection, a level of familiarity, and maybe even shared values between the families. It's not just two celebrities randomly finding each other. There's this foundation of respect already there. And that could explain why we're seeing such strong support from both sides, you know? It's like the families are already kind of intertwined in a way. Exactly. It makes you wonder if maybe this is something that was meant to be. You know. Okay, but here's the part that I find absolutely adorable. <laughs> Scott Swift, the man who usually shuns the spotlight, he turns into like this total chatterbox on this flight, excitedly showing more videos of Taylor performing on her era's tour. Oh, I love that detail. It's so endearing. I know, right? You can just picture him beaming with pride, just a dad showing off his daughter. It humanizes him, you know. Reminds us that he's not just this big-time music executive. He's just a dad who wants his daughter to be happy. And it says a lot about how much he approves of this relationship, right? Yeah. Like, he's so comfortable talking about it and sharing these personal moments. It definitely suggests he's on board the Kelshi train. And get this. Even the flight attendants got in on the action they gifted Scott with friendship bracelets like the ones they trade at Taylor's concerts. That is amazing. Talk about Taylor Swift's cultural impact reaching every corner of the world, even at 30,000 feet in the air. Right. And so now everyone is wondering, is this it? Is Travis the one? Are wedding bells in their future? I mean, yeah. the speculation is off the charts. I mean, it's hard not to get caught up in the excitement, right? Especially yeah. with both families being so supportive. It really feels like something special is brewing. It does, doesn't it? And that's what I love about this whole story. It's not just your typical celebrity gossip. It's like this real-life fairy tale unfolding right in front of us. It's a love story, but it's also about family, about the influence of those closest to us and their role in shaping our lives. Exactly. And it makes you wonder, what does this relationship mean for Taylor at this stage in her life? and in her career, mm. you know? What's the bigger picture here? I think that's the question we all want answered. And it's what makes these deep dives so much fun, right? We get to connect the dots, yeah. analyze the clues, and try to understand the bigger narrative. It's like we're all Swifties on a mission to uncover the truth. Exactly. So to all our listeners out there, keep those detective hats on, stay tuned, and let's see where this love story takes us next. It's going to be a wild ride. That's for sure. All right, everyone, until next time, keep on sleuthing. And keep swifting. You got it.